So I take the compliance requirements as being uh, absolutely linked to the direct outcomes on cyber security. Yeah? It's not, not, not opposing forces, but more complementary forces. Yeah. Definitely not a checklist to be just ticked off and, and De moved on. Ab absolutely not. Do that at your peril. And not because of the regulatory consequences, though that's not unimportant. Do it be, don't do that because of the, um, the practical consequences of not having that governance structure in place or the, or the um, the compliance structures in place. It's, it's. Um, I, I equate security as very much like safety. I mean, safety in our company is number one priority. Um, every person that comes to the company, you know, it's about keeping safe for you, for your colleagues, for your family. Um, it, it, to do it well, it's got to have a cultural, a cultural environment around it, which encourages safety. Security is the same kind of thing. It's a, it's a mindset. It's a way of behaving mm. constantly. And, and how, how you build that social element of the solution is important. So you've got the technology elements, you've got the regulatory, regulatory environment, you've got the technology, but you've got a social element to it, which mm. is how do people behave around security, just as how do people behave around safety. So, so we, we take the whole compliance framework, yeah, it's very much around how we operate as a company, but it's also about how we create a culture in our company for, for people upholding the security requirements.